some prescriptive scoring. So I'm just going to look up my instructions on my iPad. Um, Right. OK, yeah. So I have some entities uh, for doing prescriptive scoring. So prescriptive scoring, um, of course, this is where we want the system to tell us how to optimize something. So if we're trying to um, uh, if we're trying to, uh, you know, maximize or minimize the goal, then it's one thing to get a prediction of what that goal is going to be. So let's say if we predict that the machine will fail in 20 days, then I might want to know, okay, how do I maximize that number? What is there anything I can adjust? And this would be, you know, from the columns under my control, is there anything that I can adjust that will make that, um, you know, failure be further in the future? Um, so I'm going to import, uh, import some entities for this. Mainly it's a, just a mashup, maybe in a helper thing. Um, so this is prescriptive scoring. Um, and I'll import the entities here. Okay, so that's, I uh, should have imported my entities. Um, so for this, I'm going to need uh, just the, the concrete um, uh, data set and model. This is from the example last week. Um, so there is a data set of called concrete that I use sometimes, which is um, um, a kind of recipe data set of, you know, given different components in a mixture of concrete, you know, water and fly ash and um, super plasticizer and various different things. What will be the resulting strength um, of that mixture? Um, so, We've got the data set there. Let me just check uh, because I'm going to need the data set and the model ID reference. I think I've already made a note of those. So concrete is this and the model. Um, model is is that ID. Um, one um, quirk about um, these references is that the data set, um, we usually use this prefix. We include that prefix when we're giving the data set reference, whereas we do not need a prefix when we're giving the model reference. Um, okay, so I've got those. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set the model ID. So I'm going to go when I um, when I imported entities, I imported this concrete helper thing, and I'm just going to go and set the data set URI um, on there uh, and the model ID. So the data set URI, set it like this. Model ID, set it like that. Um, there is some scoring data. I might have already written this, but I'll execute that service. Yes, yeah, so it says en entry with this key already exists, so that means it's already done. Um, so that should be all the prep I need. And then there's a mashup. So let me call up that mashup. Okay, so there's a mashup here. Uh, oops. Uh, and what I can do, um, so this load, all this does is it saves me a bit of typing on the screen. So it loads up some values. I can adjust these, um, uh, loads up some values. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do a prescription, uh, sorry, I'm going to make a prediction as normal, but this time I'm going to include prescription. So what I can do is I can select some fields and say, prescribe and then it does the prediction so this original score is just the prediction as normal but it will also optimize the score and it's got some lever fields so uh, the levers are the fields that I can adjust so for whatever reason let's say I'm not able to adjust the amount of water super plasticizer etc that goes in but I am able to adjust the other inputs so um, 
what uh, ThinkWorks Analytics will tell me is, okay, if you um, adjust those inputs from the original value to the optimal value, then you're able to optimize your score to this. Yeah, and I suppose, um, you know, one thing that we don't have uh, a nice thing on this mashup would be maybe to have a, 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 ch a toggle to say if I'm maximizing or minimizing. In this case, I'm just mac always maximizing, uh, but, you know, to allow you to maximize or minimize, which the underlying API does allow. Yeah, so that's just uh, an example to, um, to so that you can see um, prescriptions running. Um, and if we go to the um, to the actual service that um, uh, to the service that that uh, runs that, then what we can see is that I think the main difference really is um, uh, okay. So prescriptive thing, right? So we are. Um, we're actually sending this request not to the prescription thing, but we're sending it to the prescriptive thing. Sorry, not to the prediction thing, but to the prescriptive thing. Uh, and also we're passing in um, these lever selections or whatever the user selected on the mashup, which fields they want to adjust. Um, those are being passed into here as, um, as selection fields. Yeah, so that's the difference really. It, it is, um, a, it is still um, doing a prediction, but uh, with this difference that we're running it in a slightly different way and we're also passing in some um, uh, levers that we want to adjust. So, Denver, is that the same model that was generated previously? Yes, it is actually the same model, yep. yep. So, that's the good thing is that um, a prediction model can also be used for prescription purposes. Cool. Yeah. Um, now, we did have an R&D call a while ago where they explained to us how they make these prescriptions. Um, and now I'm not really able to explain it um, uh, in any depth. But um, I think very roughly speaking, um, the way it works is if you imagine a um, if you imagine a, a contour map with you know mountains, so peaks and troughs, um, and your uh, imagine it on a sort of flat surface like a table. So there are some peaks and some troughs, and you know some flat areas, um, and your aim is to detect the highest mountain. Um, I think the algorithm it uses is a kind of algorithm to detect local maxima um, and with a, a sort of random repetition. So what it does is it randomly picks a point, uh, you know, on your table, which has got the mountains and the, the troughs, and then it randomly picks a point and then it sort of starts to say, okay, if I adjust the the coordinates in this case the x and the y coordinates will that increase or decrease my altitude and so you keep just adjusting to try and max i'll increase the altitude which means that from whichever random starting point you chose um, you'll hopefully be able to uh, arrive uh, you, sh you should be able to arrive at whatever close maximum you have but of course that might not be that it might be a mountain or a hill but it might not be the highest mountain um, because to get to the highest mountain you might need to go down a trough which you wouldn't do because you're maximizing your altitude um, so what happens is that process is then repeated so you randomly pick another point and the hope is so i think it's not guaranteed that you would find the maximum but it's it's hoped that you would you would find it I think, I believe that's how it works anyway. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's prescriptions. Um, so, 